What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at how to do speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve. Now, speed ramp is when you take some high frame rate footage and rather than just slowing it down for some slow motion, you also speed it up and you hop between the footage which is sped up, which looks super quick, and the footage which is slowed down, which looks super slow motion. And it gives you a really cool, cinematic, almost matrixy look. So let's hop open DaVinci Resolve and we'll have a look. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the edit tab. Now I've already configured my timeline, it's set to 24 frames per second, and I've added my clip, and this clip was filmed at 120 frames per second and I've slowed it down. So it's in nice, silky smooth slow motion. If you need to know how to do that, there's a link above to one of my previous videos. So now we need to add a speed ramp. And as always with the Dimension Resolve, it's actually really quite simple. I'm gonna left click on my file on the timeline, and then I'm gonna right click, and we're gonna select Retime Controls. Now you can also use the keyboard shortcut of Control and R. I'm just going to hit that and it'll add the speed change options to the clip on the timeline. Now what I'd like to do first of all is pick out the points where I want the speed to change. So there's certain sections I want in slow motion and other bits I want fast. So what you want to do is go through the clip and mark those out. So I'm just going to hit the space bar, play through, I want that first bit in slow motion. So about a second or so, that's perfect. Now at this point, exactly where my playhead is, I need to add a marker because this is where my speed is going to change. So with my playhead in the right place, I'm going to click on this little drop down here where it says 100. 100 represents the speed of this clip, so this is currently at 100%. Click the drop down and I'm going to add a speed point. And as you see, it'll add a marker and if I zoom in, we now have 100% on this part and 100% on this part and we have a marker here. If you need to make any fine adjustments to where this marker is located, click on the lower half of the marker and you can just move it along left and right. So this part now I want to go fast up until about there and we'll have some more slow motion going on here. So same thing, we're gonna add a speed point. We'll hit play. That's only gonna be slow motion for a second or so and then I'll add a speed point. This will all be quick until we get back to soups here. Or we'll add a speed point. Add one more. So then we're gonna go slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, and fast. Perfect, we've added our speed points, I'm happy with that. Now the next step is to change the speeds. So let's just zoom in a tad. Now these slow motion areas are already set to 100, which is slow motion, so I can leave those as they are. It's these longer bits which we want to go fast that we need to change. So I'm gonna click on this 100 here, click on this drop down. I'm gonna to go to change speed, and I'm gonna select 800%. And as you can see, it will shorten it right down because it's going eight times faster, so the clip is eight times shorter or it's one eighth of the original length. I'm gonna do the same on this one because this is another bit we want to play faster. And again, right at the end as well. So now if we hit play from the beginning, this bit's nice and slow, and then it goes fast, and then it goes slow again, fast, slow, and then fast again. Now if 800% isn't fast enough, what you can actually do is on these markers, so let's use this one here, if we select the bottom one, we can just move the position of the marker. It doesn't change the speed, it just moves where that marker is located. If we select the top half of the marker, what we can actually do, if you look, if I drag that to the left, that number is actually increasing. So the start and the end point of this clip are staying the same, but what we're actually doing is shortening the clip. And by shortening it, we're making it play faster. So I can just drag this all the way down. Let's go to something high like 2000%. We'll just do the same on this one. So these two will play really quick. So now if I just go to the beginning and hit play, this is at slow motion, really fast, slow again, and then really fast. And then you can just keep adding speed points, keep changing the speed either from this context menu here or just by dragging these to make the clip shorter or longer and thus increasing or decreasing the speed. If you've made a bit of a mistake and you want to clear it, you can clear all your speed points just by selecting this here. If you want to reset, this one here is set to 1857. I could just reset that back to 100 and you're good to go. That's it, easy as that. If you're happy with it, you can export it and move on. However, 
you can also do one extra thing to make it look a little bit nicer. Now at the moment, the cuts between slow and fast are quite abrupt, without any real gradual fade, but you can make it a little bit smoother if you want to. I'm going to right click on my clip, and this time I'm going to select Retime Curve. And you'll get the Retime Curve window pop up. Now it's not actually this one that we want, because this one says Retime Frame. So I'm just going to click on the drop down here, I'm going to turn off Retime Frame, and I'm going to select Retime Speed. So this line here is 100%, and then this is the fast speed, and you can actually do all the speed ramping from here. I just prefer it the other way, I think it's easier, especially for beginners. But what you can do is on these white marks here, these are called keyframes. Now you can see it goes from 100, shoots straight up to that 2000, which I've selected. But we want to make these a little more gradual. So what I'm going to do is click on the keyframe, and then you've got two options here. If we click on this left box, it will just make that change slightly more gradual. Then on the keyframe itself, you've now got these extra buttons and you can just drag them outwards to make it even smoother or bring them in to make it more abrupt. And if you just do this on all of the keyframes, and then you can either make them smoother or more abrupt, whatever you want to do. And then if we just hit play, you can see it's much more gradual. And that's it, easy as that, that's how you speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. And that's it, easy as that, hope it was useful. If it was, thumbs up. If you've got any feedback or thoughts, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more DaVinci Resolve. Cheers guys, see you next time.